On a quiet little street surrounded by historic homes and located just two blocks from majestic Lake Huron, sits one of America's few remaining 19th century synagogues. Like the city it calls home, Temple Bethel of Alpena, is enjoying a renaissance. Before we explain this exciting development, let's take a step back in time. Temple Bethel's story begins in the years following the Civil War, around 1867, when a Jewish immigrant, Julius Myers, settled in the area. Like most Jewish immigrants during this era, Myers came to the area seeking opportunity as a merchant. Alpena at the time was a mecca for lumbering. Myers, a clothier, opened a store in the heart of the town on a block that became known locally as Myers Block. He employed his three sons, and generations later, that business exists to this day. Other early Jewish Alpena residents included Emil Moss, who operated a saloon. But because of the temperance movement, he changed gears and opened a clothing business. Jacob Levin, a cigar maker, came to Alpena in 1872 and opened a store on Myers Block. In Judaism, it is commanded that we must care for the widows and orphans and bury our dead. In many communities, as soon as there are sufficient numbers of Jewish families in which to hold a minion, 10 men in those years, the group would then found a benevolent society. In 1875, Julius Myers, Jacob Levin, and others organized the Hebrew Benevolent Society of Alpena. They purchased a small plot of land off what is now M32. Years later, the land in the cemetery was deeded over to the city, and the cemetery now sits within the city-owned municipal cemetery. Within a short time, the founders formed a congregation, rented a room in which to hold prayer meetings, and began to look ahead to purchasing a building. By 1887, more than 45 Jewish adults had settled in the area, finding great opportunity because of the lumbering trade. And then it happened. In 1891, Temple Bethel purchased a simple frame building on White Street for a price of $1,100. At one time of church, the building needed some work. Excited at the prospect of a second Jewish synagogue in northern Michigan, the first opened two years earlier in Traverse City, Jewish citizens from Alpena and from across the region donated funds and labor, enabling synagogue leaders to upgrade to hardwood floors, to add a stone foundation and a basement, to purchase wooden pews, and to commission the stunning stained glass window that anchors the building. The first rabbi, Rabbi Buckholder, from Detroit, led the Orthodox congregation for a few years. In later years, the synagogue adapted to accommodate a growing conservative and reform population and began using student rabbis. As the population in Alpena and the surrounding towns of Sheboygan, Harrisville, Hillman, Hubbard Lake, Oscoda, and Presqu'ile continued to grow, so did the congregation. The temple was filled to capacity for Sabbath services, bar mitzvahs, bat mitzvahs, weddings, funerals, and special occasions. The changing local economy, including the closing of Oscoda's Wurtsmith Air Force Base, took a great toll on the congregation and the city of Alpena. Many members were aging and were no longer able to attend congregational events. Young adults were moving to larger, more metropolitan areas. By the late 1980s, membership had dwindled to but a handful of people. The situation became quite dire. There was even talk of donating this beautiful historic shul to a local museum. Enter Art Curran, a longtime member who would later become Temple Bethel's president. He adamantly opposed the shutdown plan. He told members, no, this synagogue is a shining light and our Jewish citizens have the right to worship God here. Fortunately, a gentleman by the name of Art Gurren came along after Mort and took over the presidency of the congregation. Gurren's tenacity, combined with the efforts of a handful of others, allowed the temple to survive and Gruen's vision of a shining example of Jewish life and faith is coming true. Alpena began experiencing a renaissance of sorts, and with it came a new cadre of Jewish residents. Interest in the synagogue grew, and by the spring of 2017, work was underway to restore and revive the shul. Using sweat equity and funds from various foundations, donors, and in-kind donations, major repairs to the building's siding and windows were completed. 
Local businesses were amazed to discover a synagogue in Alpena. They not only offered their time, talent, and finances to the restoration project, but also engaged with Alpena's Jewish community. Other changes were spiritual. The restoration project sparked dialogue, interest, and an awareness of the Temple Bethel community. For the Jews of Alpena, Temple Bethel became their sanctuary, their spiritual home. They welcomed me with open arms to Temple Bethel, and right when I moved here, they were having services. Um, I was able to come, we'd do potlucks, and it was just so nice to have a little community here. This is an amazing place, an amazing his history museum, uh, one of the few surviving 19th century temples in the United States. In the prior years, it had three major expenses uh, with the flooding of the, of the basement, uh, destroying of a lot of the walls and floors. There were two movements at one point. One of those was to just totally disband the temple, and we had inquiries from as far away as Cincinnati about what we were going to do with the artifacts that were here. The second thing was this, uh, this temple was being considered uh, some of the members wanted it donated to the museum, the Besser Museum, simply because the congregation was too small to really uh, keep it viable and to support it financially. When Tim and Kathleen came into our office, they asked if they would be able to apply for a grant for the synagogue. Tim and Kathleen were so excited to be part of this, and they kept saying, you wait to see what it's going to look like when it's all done. So what we have now on the outside of the temple is a completely restored building. Uh, it, it just shines in the sunlight, it's so beautiful. In an age when other small synagogues around the country and state are closing, Bethel is growing. Longtime residents are discovering Temple Bethel and joining for services and social gatherings. And those who are moving to the community are finding that, as Julius Myers once did, their Alpena is a warm and loving Jewish community. Members of this community are ready to build and dedicate themselves and their families to a Jewish life. Today, Temple Bethel is rebounding.